I want to talk about my bee experience in Shikoku and title this video It's Pesticide Stupid. You know, when I discovered the bee collapse was happening in around 2010, and it was really by accident, I'd heard something about the bees going. I can't remember where or why. And I said, huh, you know, I really haven't seen any bees since I've been in Japan. Not that I was really looking, but I just, you know, like I grew up with bees. Going to school in England, I went to prep school, we'd go for walks and look at the flowers or the bees and the bumblebees and the, you know, and, and look at the um, um, butterflies and the ladybugs. I love insects. So in 2000, this was 2011, I spent an entire year looking for bees around starting early spring all the way through the summer couldn't find any. I finally found some on one set of plants and they were honeybees, they were solitary bees known as mason bees and I think I remember seeing one bumblebee that was it, all summer looking and I have videos, you can see my videos online on it so it got me thinking, what's going on with the bees? why are they dying? why aren't there any bees? you know And it seemed pretty obvious to me at the time that it was pesticides. Because pesticides are systemic, which means they're water soluble. The old pesticides were not. They would float on top of the water, so they would get washed out. But the new pesticides are actually systemic, water soluble. So when a bee drinks river water and most of Honshu all the rice paddies and they use fungicides they use pesticides they use roundup on the around the side you know they use tons of pesticides and I use the word pesticide in the broad meaning of the word including herbicides fungicides and pesticides it seemed pretty obvious to me to my amazement this summer I spent it on a film shoot in Shikoku, Japan. And I'd never heard of Shikoku. Shikoku is an island under um, Osaka, and um, it's famous for something called the 88 Temples, and you can pilgrimage, or the 88 Temple pil Pilgrimage, you can, you can um, you know, read up on. And the first time I went and walked out there, I was, I was blown away. Because the first plant I went to, I saw honeybees, I saw bumblebees, um, butterflies, all on one plant, one tea plant. And there is no bee collapse in Shikoku. The bees are fine. The bees are doing well. Now, Shikoku is mainly mountains, which means they don't have the rice paddies which is what pesticides are predominantly used for in Japan. These monocultures, they don't have monocultures. It's a very diverse, uh, you know, environment. And it became this microcosm of what the world should be like, Shikoku. And my desire is to bring attention to this world, to educate others, that the problem isn't cell phone towers, it isn't habitat destruction, it isn't the lack of flowers, it's pesticide stupid. Is that it? And if you don't believe me, what I recommend is you come to Shikoku, come to Foundup's house there, come stay, spend the summer, spend a week with me, in Shikoku and I'll show you.